Hey guys, this is Rick. Okay, this is the second video that I've done uh, or I'm doing now with regard to the HHO generator. The first video, uh, I have to admit, I was a little naive when I uh, tried to make my first generator. I've done a lot of homework since then and I put together this second generator. And, and basically, I'm doing this video for three main reasons. There are a load of people out there on YouTube who are way, way, way ahead of me as far as um, developing this technology is concerned. My main reason for doing this video and for trying out this, uh, actually building this HHO generator is, well, firstly, I actually want to give it a go. I want to build one, uh, put it into my engine and actually see for myself whether this, uh, this works in any significant way. The second reason is that I'm hoping to help generate more interest in this, this particular subject. I'm hoping to perhaps by, by demonstrating this very, very simple technology, I'm hoping to um, maybe you know spark some other people's interests and just to sort of encourage people to, to sort of have a go themselves. Anyway, I've just now built my second HHO generator and the video you're about to see is me giving it a test and the results are very, very pleasing. So I'll come back in a minute and uh, have a quick look at the video. Okay, this is my new design of um, hydrogen generator. I've got four plates of stainless steel um, offset, staggered. I've got two this side, two that side. Um, obviously one's positive, one's the negative. Uh, I've rigged them up just simply with wires and butterfly nuts and on the lid I've just got three main joins which is the positive, the negative and the, the actual feed for the hydrogen or the HHO. Um, I eventually opted for a metal lid, um, originally I was looking for a uh, plastic lid but um, I had so many issues with the HHO eating the plastic on my last experiment I decided to go for a metal lid. Anyway we'll see what happens with this one. That was a small spoonful of bicarb, a little shake. Okay you've got a 15 amp fu uh, fuse in. We'll turn it on two amps. Right, here we go. We've got some bubbling. Fuse is holding. And we've got gas. And we've got some pressure behind the gas this time. That's good. That's what we want. Woohoo! It works. So, alright, I'm drawing less than 15 amps. Uh, it's not that accurate, but. So we have ourselves some hydrogen gas. Wait, that's the first. Look at this, look. It's going for it. Or is it? Yeah, yeah, look. Oh, I'm well checked for that. That is brilliant. There we go, I've gone for a narrower neck bottle. Um, if I let that build up. Right, so hopefully we should be getting hydrogen gas from Nothing more than tap water and a tiny bit of bicarb. Here we go, here's a flame, ready? <whistles> Convinced? Okay, so as you can see, the um, the generator, the second, the Mark II generator is working, ex well, I, w I don't know whether it's working extremely well, but it's working considerably better than the original crappy old thing that I made uh, last time around. The, the stainless steel plates were certainly a much better design than the uh, stainless steel coiled wire. Now, all I need to do is go away, build um, a vapor catcher, and I'm gonna be running it for uh, a little while. If I'm absolutely 100% certain the vapor catcher works and I'm not gonna be feeding any moisture into my engine, then I do intend to have at least a, a stab at uh, putting this into my engine and seeing whether um, it makes any difference or not. Uh, hopefully it will. I'm not anticipating huge uh, amounts of difference. That That's if I don't have any conflicts uh, with my engine management system. But anyway, I'm, my intentions are not to take this project any further than that really. There are guys out there who are way, way, way ahead of this and you know, if you are seriously wanting to get into this then just type in HHO in YouTube and you know there is all the information out there that you need. So anyway that's it for now. If I do 
manage to build a, a vapor catcher that works and get this plumbed into the, the, the vehicle, then I will hopefully make a, a third and probably final video and uh, let you guys know how I get on. So uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.